talking with it. Man. All right, bet. So like, you can start off with an intro, like it's K verse, all that. Okay, bet. So we know where to start the video. All right, bet. <laughs> so I'll scream in verse. On the set, I have to scream verse. I'll be thinking like, keep it G. Where, that's where I got my name from, actually. So like, it was like Juice World, right? And then it's like you know how there's like J and then World. So I was thinking like when I made my name K verse, it was like K, right? It just so happens to be on the letter after J, and I was thinking like it's more than just my world. Like I thought like it was like my universe kind of thing. So it's like K verse. It's like, but I'm really inspired from Juice World. Like everything like about Juice World, pretty much is how I like came to be. Like I would listen to him. I felt like I was him, kinda. Like even when he would do like all his stuff, like the bad habits, the good habits, like taking drugs or whatever, having fun in the studio. Like it's just like I didn't start making music until like after he died. Like I ain't know. Like I never once thought I could like freestyle. Like never once did I ever think like I could like connect words and make music. Like type shit. It's just weird. But now I love it. Like, I feel like that's the only way I can really express myself. Like, is when I go in the booth. And I like being high. I don't know. It's like another bad thing. It's like getting high. Like, people really do it to, like, escape from something. But, like, everyone just be trying to escape the same problems, like. Yeah, like, get into some shit, like, you, like, see on TikTok where, like, they put, like, a 15 thing and they're talking into, like, the road, and, like, mm. it's some controversial shit. Yeah. Like. Anything. All right. I don't care. But it's, like, you gotta, just from all the hard stuff that goes on, you gotta be able to wake up and that'd be the hard part like is waking up looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like damn like you got to do like again another day same shit you already know it's about to go on because you live based on like a routine and it's like you're not ready to go for another day like you want something more like you want like that drive to like push forward and you gotta like look for it whatever it is to just keep going that's how I do it it's just like I know at the end of the road like I'm destined for more like I'm supposed to have everything that I want everyone should have everything that they want so it's like you got to find that motivation for you because if you can't find it for you nobody's going to put it on you no one's going to tell you hey like you're doing this for me like you got to want it for you and and that's how you find that motivation that's how you tap into that energy that that you you did live the day you did see the day you saw you woke up and you see the next day like you're here for something more you just got to find out what it is for yourself and part of me people do it in good ways and bad ways whether it may be like getting over like relationship problems or being down bad like you ain't got no money like shit like you're on the block you're on the street you're doing this that whatever it is just to like get by but you want more like the end the end of the road is to have more and I, I don't know. Shit, I can't even look at life sometimes. Like, I don't even know how people do it. I'm trying to figure it out myself. I just, I don't know. Like, shit. I never thought I'd fucking be doing this. I never thought I'd be in construction. Like, I'm a full-time contractor by day. I wake up every single day at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, damn, bro, I got to do this shit again. Until fucking, sure, it's a blessing, but it's a curse too. Like, people always see, like, the good ends of the, like, oh, you got a business. Like, you know, you got it. But it's like, it's not always, like, good. Sometimes I want to be that person working that 9 to 5 job because I don't have to deal with all the stress. Shit's like a problem. And then I like getting high. Like, shit. <laughs> that shit has me fucked up. And it's like, I can't stop that. Shit's crazy. It's 
So I'll just be screaming verse, man. You already know how that should go. Scream verse till I die. <laughs> I'm screaming verse. <laughs> yeah. What about your comeback today? My comeback today. Shit, that was that was crazy. Like, oof. I've just been working and like I've yeah, I've been working like crazy, and I used to come to, I used to come here, I remember being here like, for a little bit, you feel me? Like, it was like, we had a lot of sessions, and then it just stopped, like, I just got really busy with work, and then coming back here, shit feels crazy, like, feels like I'm back home type shit, like, I like missed it here, yeah, type shit, it was, it was, it's just crazy, like, the way, like, he sets everything up, and it's just... It's not like a regular like studio session where you just like go in and you make music. It's like this one's like set up. Like it's like I don't know. Shit's like mad professional. But it's t but it's tough in here. I love like the environment and stuff. It's all cool. I love playing that fucking pack not Pac Man, but that fucking asteroid game. That's just tough. I'll be fucking fighting the aliens on there and shit. But Definitely cool to be back. I feel good when I'm over here. And you get used to, like, the engineer, too. Like, it's, like, you can't just be... And you gotta, like, find, like, where you like to make your music. Because if you switch between the engineer, engineer, different studios and stuff like that, it's, like, I don't know. For me, it's hard. Like, you know, once I get into a groove with someone and they know how I make my music and they know where to chop up this or, like, do that and that, like, and you don't even have to tell them, like, it's great. It just makes the, everything better. To be honest, I need to start dropping though. I need to start fucking getting myself out there. That shit's crazy too. That? that shit that's going on in Israel really is the it's the whole world, man. That's fucked up. Like to be honest, it's it's not even just Israel. Like yeah, that's a highlight, but that's also that's what they want us to see. You know what I mean? Nobody's talking about everything else that's happening in the world it's like when they want you to see something that's when they show it and that's when they like bring it out but it's like the whole system is fucked bro uh, everything is sad but people are dying everywhere and people are war everything is just fucked the political system is fucked the fucking the economy is fucked everything is fucked people are just bad they put I feel like they put biased leaders at the top, like people that just want, oh, yeah, like this shit's ridiculous. It's like they want to see the people like fall instead of come up, which doesn't really make sense. Like, shouldn't everyone want to be good? Everyone wants to be like, like why fight? Why like fucking it doesn't make sense, bro. I never did. That's another reason why like people be talking to me about having like kids and shit. Like I could never have a kid because. I never want a kid, I never will have a kid, like, period. Like, people will say that and then have a baby by the end of next year, but, like, nah, bro, shit's not like that. And fucking, one of the reasons why I think that is because, like, you could do everything right, right, as a parent, and in today's world, the child or the kid can still come out, like, different. Like, not necessarily fucked up, but, like, fucked up in a way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, shit, I was raised right. And you feel me? I turned out the way I am. Like, shit, like, no one knew I was going to be fucking, like, into certain shit that I like or, like, being around, like, certain things. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just, like, it just goes to show that you can raise your kid 100% right. You could do everything right as a parent, and they'll still come out a different way. And it's, like, as a parent, like, I wouldn't be able to, you feel me? Like, I don't know. I'd be scared type shit. Like, I wouldn't want that for my kid. I'd want the best for him. Moral of the story is America's fucked. Everybody's fucked. And everyone, we're just trying to find a way out, man. And I'm going to make it with this music shit. Like, I never knew it, but watch. One day, people are going to look back at this video. They're going to be like, shit, like... That nigga's like Juice World. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hope that's the dream. Put dreams into reality.
för mig. Maisha. My fault. I'm high, so. But yeah, yo, the world is crazy. But what are you gonna do? Gotta go day by day. <laughs> I'll be high as hell on the roof too <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Nah but I don't know You get used to it It's like anything Like how do you record a song Like how do you mix and master a song so fast right Like you've done it a couple times And I'm sure you weren't fast in the beginning right But then eventually like you gain a handle of it And you just Like you go through the motions Like you know like I don't know It's like stamina and stuff but once you walk a roof, like, and you walk it again and again, and you do that, like, every single day, you get used to it, and you gain confidence. You feel me? And you gotta wear, like, grippy shoes. Like, you can't just go up there wearing, like, fucking anything. You gotta wear boots or something. There's certain roofs you can walk, but... I did fall off the roof one time, though. So it was, uh, actually, I just remembered this. It was like two years ago. Um, I was up, I was 24 feet up on a ladder. No, nah, I wasn't on the roof, but I was on a ladder. And uh, one of my workers, they were with me. And he was, uh, we were doing, like, you feel me? I had a piece on my shoulder like this, and I was up on the ladder, and I was installing it. And my other guy was climbing up the scaffold. I don't know if you guys know what scaffolds are. They put them shits up. They're like bars and shit. So people can go up and do the siding and stuff. So basically the crew that was there before doing the siding and stuff. They were putting their scaffolds away. But they were in the way. So we couldn't set up the other ladder. So my guy tried to climb it up. But we didn't know that they already took the locks off of them. So as he was climbing it. The scaffold fell down on my ladder. And it knocked me off like with the gutter in my shoulder that shit went and fucking I went down and I landed on concrete but I had a lot more hair at the time so when I busted my head it was like bleeding a lot but they only gave me like eight stitches I think it was like right here but that shit sucked because fucking they had to shave my hair bro they shaved out a big ass patch of my hair bro I had to cut it all that shit was annoying like, the doctors didn't even try to, like, hide it, you feel me? Like, I had mad hair. I was thinking maybe I could cover it up. They said, nope. Like, the fucking Grinch. They just went, Bzzz. fucking assholes. But, yeah, I got, like, eight stitches in my head. I didn't break nothing, though. It was 24 feet on concrete. You'd think, like, I would have broke something. I mean, it was my company, so... What the fuck was I gonna do? <laughs> You feel me? Like there's nothing, there's no one to like sue or you can't like do anything if it was your own. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had insurance. They took care of that. For sure. I had to pay like a little bit, but it wasn't like crazy. But yeah. Yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is, if you do construction, and you'd rather use the scaffolds, always make sure they're locked. I mean, you should know that. I'm just a fucking idiot, and we didn't check, but whatever. Well, technically, my guy's an idiot, because he didn't check. Whatever. I'm past it. I'm alive. Three days, and I was back in. I ain't gonna trip. Nothing broke. Right back to work. I'm not one to really sit out. Like, if I can move around, I'm going to move around. Like, I have, like, ADHD, and, like, I can't, like, be still for a certain amount of time. Like, I, I can't do it. I got to be able to move around and stuff. But...
Yeah. Like, there was one time I got fucking ejected from a car, and I broke my hip, uh, three of my ribs, and my nose. And I was trying to fuck. The doctors told me I was never going to walk again, first of all. For, that's what that's when they, like, they had me fucked up. I was like, how are you going to tell me, like, I'm never going to walk? Like, how do you say that to somebody? You feel me? You're not about to tell me what I'm... Yeah, yeah, for real. After, like, my uh, surgeries and everything like that, they were like, there's a good chance you're not going to walk again. I was like, bro, what? I was like, how are you going to tell me what I can and cannot do? I was like, watch this. And then fucking... I was on a wheelchair and stuff for a while. Like, I couldn't move for... Nah, not a while. It was maybe, like, three weeks. Three weeks where I couldn't move. And then fucking... Like, with the physical therapy and, like, me just trying to, like, fucking get up. Like, it took a lot for me to, like, try and start moving around, like, my leg. But I did it, like, little by little. And fucking, I was walking again and shit, like, a year later, like, without my cane. Maybe, like, a year and a half later without my cane. Like, I went from a wheelchair to a walker to a cane. And I was like, fuck that shit. And I went back to the doctor. I was like, you're stupid. <laughs> Shit don't make sense. Like, what? All I did was break it. Y'all fixed it. Fuck. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, kind of hungry. I'm trying to record again, low key. <laughs> That's one thing, I never fucking wrote a single word down like with my music I try to do everything off the top I know I'm not the best you know but I do express myself that way and I talk about my life through that and subjects whatever it is I'm thinking about I just get it out hoping that one day maybe people feel what I say feel my pain Cause this life shit ain't easy, bro. It's not. It's hard. And you can't fucking talk about your feelings. You can't fucking do any of that shit. Cause then people look at you weird. And it's like fuck what people think, right? But it's like you you grow tired of it. It's like why even fucking talk? Like people only want to hear like what the subjects is about. Like like shit that they care about. It's fucked up. Not a lot of good people in this world. I miss Juice, man. Wish I could have met him. Nah, 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 bitch, till I die, bitch. Let's go ahead and run your life, bitch. I can't. Mm -hmm. Fuck, this ring is stuck. <laughs> I got it. But yeah, yo. Um, what else? Hmm. I just know that one day I'm gonna make it That's the fucking topic Is that I'm here now I'm recording A lot of music I plan on See my downfall is just I'm just not like Active on social media and stuff But watch watch I'm gonna turn that shit around And everyone's gonna see Like For real That I this mu I'm doing it more than just the music like I'm trying to 
I don't really have it's a little bit of both like I'm just like like I'm more of like a people person like I'm more of like an in-person kind of thing like you know what I mean like the whole social I don't know it just doesn't really like drive me like that like people just do a whole bunch of like weird and like fake shit on like social media like I don't know I don't know I gotta get into it though I have to like I know it's a part of this but it's also the time factor like I work a lot like when I'm not working I'm in the studio working so like I pass my time always working (laughs) I sleep like three hours a day maybe I fucking I shower I eat like I try to be a regular person but other than that I'm just working so it's hard but it'll change whatever has to get done will get done cause I'm gonna see this out and I'm going to show the world that you can really just do what you put your mind to. I think about it like this, right? There's another Kevin Hart. There, I'm Kevin. There's another Kevin out there, Kevin Hart, and he's making millions. So it's like, why can that Kevin do it and this Kevin can't? The fuck? Tripping. So yeah, this is fucking K-verse. You fucking know the vibes. You know how we coming. And shit, I got two EPs on the way. I got an album on the way. I got more songs on the way. You already fucking know the vibes. You know how we coming, man. I'm screaming verse. Gang bitch, let it move. I'm high as shit. Got a headache, kind of. 